Yeah, check this little thing out. It's definitely the smallest spool I've ever made for a project, which is kind of cool. Now, honestly, I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I thought to machine four bearings into this part. There's two bearings on either side, so I don't know. I, I knew this thing had to be really short, and I was thinking, like, oh, let's do four bearings. Double the strength, right? But now that I'm looking at it, it's probably really overkill that this thing has four bearings. I was thinking about should I remake this with only two bearings, but it kind of took me a long time to make it, so I'd rather not remake this thing. So I, I, I think it's fine. You know, if anything, it's a little overkill for this project, but if uh, that may not be a bad thing for this project. So next thing we got to do, obviously, is machine the keyways into both of these parts, so therefore this can't spin on here. That's why I left this a lot longer than it needed to be, so therefore we can machine this down to one inch, so therefore this 5C collet can fit on here. We can fit this collet block on here, so therefore this will index the keyways. I'll machine it into this part, then I'll broach them into this part. I'll cut this to size, and then machine that top hat looking part that actually uh, that holds this thing together. After that, we can do, uh, if we have extra time, I'll do maybe some weight saving on this. Trim some of the excess, excess off of this thing, and then this thing's pretty much done. Close enough.
take very light cuts. Before I call this thing completely finished, I want to do just a little bit of weight trimming off of this thing. I don't want to do, I could machine this a little bit thinner, but I don't want to do that. I think the best way to do a weight saving on this is take away some of the material in between these bolt holes. We don't need all this material on both sides of this as well as these. So I'm going to mark just in between here. I got to figure out the distance. I'm not sure how deep I should go into this. And then I'm going to use my annular cutters to just cut just, you know, half circles out of this side and this side as well as these. these corners off, clean these up a little bit more, and then these things are pretty much done. That looks a lot better.
Alright, so the CV spool is pretty much finished. Now, obviously this is for a new project. I'm not going to say exactly what that new project is just yet. We still need to build the hubs, the spindles for this project, and then at the video after that, I will uh, show you guys what I'm planning on building. So, these, uh, these CV axles, they're Polaris Sportsman. I believe they're 400, and I think these are for the front because... Uh, I do have these, uh, I do have these hubs, we're going to be using these just like that, they fit perfectly, and they do, I did find uh, rims and tires for this that actually fit the, this bolt pattern, so we don't have to modify these, which is going to be nice, so I'm hoping all this stuff is going to be able to handle the 95 horsepower uh, that the engine I'm using produces and everything, hopefully this stuff's going to be strong enough, but I, I, I think it'll be, it's, it's Polaris, so... I will probably have to lengthen these because they're, they're not long, they never seem to be long enough, which is always kind of frustrating with CV axles. They're never long enough, and I always have to lengthen them. I haven't really decided yet on how I'm going to lengthen them. Normally, I just cut them in half and lengthen them and weld a bit in the middle. But I've been looking at these, and it's like I could just make my own and have splines on either end, but then you have to harden the splines, and you have to hard. I'm pretty sure this is hardened, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet on how exactly I'm going to lengthen them, but... I don't know, we'll figure that out later, but uh, anyway, next video of this project, we build the hubs, we build the spindles and everything for this project, and then I get to show you guys what I'm planning on building, and we get to start working on the frame, but uh, anyway, guess that's it for this video, thank y'all for watching, I'll see ya in the next video.